All right, so this question asks us to prove that if y is arctan x, then the derivative is 1 over 1 plus x squared. Often we use this formula without even thinking about it, but it's actually not very hard to prove. Uh, you should try it. If you can't get it, I would give you a hint that we should use implicit differentiation somehow. And also we have to remember an identity, a trig identity that involves tan and secant. So I hope that hint might give you a clue what to do. If not, let's do it together. So if y is arctan x, then that just means tan of y is equal to x, right? Now, implicitly, let's implicitly differentiate this. So that we just take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. The derivative of tan y is, well, the derivative of tan x is secant squared x. So by the rules for implicit differentiation, the derivative of tan y would be secant squared y. But then right afterwards, we multiply by y prime. And the derivative of x is 1, right? Let's continue. We have uh, y prime equal to um, 1 over secant squared y, right? So here's that's this is the part with implicit differentiation. Now comes the part where, where we have to remember an important trig identity. So recall the trig identity that tan squared um, x plus 1 equals secant squared x, right? But maybe instead of using the letter x, I should use the letter y. It really doesn't matter, but for this problem, it's more suited. So I'm going to use that right now. I'm going to write 1 over secant squared y is really tan squared y plus 1, according to that identity I just wrote. But remember that tan y is just x, right? So y prime is 1 over tan y is x, so tan squared y is x squared plus 1. And that's exactly what we wanted to show. So that's the justification for that formula, and it wasn't too hard to prove.